Happy Sunday. What a day it's been already. We woke up a little bit late this morning. Well, maybe I did. Um, but immediately we got up, got dressed, and oh, I have to show you the quails. Can you see them? These little guys are always by my house. They're so cute. We got up, got dressed, and we went for a hike, and oh my goodness, I wish I had remembered to bring my camera. I'm still learning to bring it everywhere, but I took a few photos, and it was just glorious to be outside in the spring sun. It was also a bit frigid, but it was just so nice to be outside, hear the birds, get some fresh air, be out in the wilderness, and it just completely livened up my mood and got me just feeling great. I wish I could do that every morning. I feel like I would just be a whole new person. I'm gonna do a spring reset. Already jumped in prior to getting on the vlog with you. I've taken apart our couch sofa. It's um, this really lovely Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, I think it's called. Honestly, I got it from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I needed to wash the linens and now and then realize like it needs a really good freshen up clean and in the process I'm gonna redo this space as well. I have to do all of this. This is normal life. <laughs> Just everything everywhere. I'm going to jump in and do my spring refresh. I've got my energizing candle there. It actually smells like birthday cake. It's amazing. Someone gave it to me for Christmas and I was like this is definitely a spring candle smell. So I've got it burning and I'm gonna pump up my music, so come on. It's just what I'm doing. <laughs> my woolly balls need a bit of a refresh. So I've got my essential oil here. The brand to me doesn't matter much as long as it's like true essential oils, not mixed with a fragrance. I just put two or three drops. I'm choosing eucalyptus today and put it on each ball. And then that way, when your clothes go in the dryer, they're going to smell Amazing. I just cleaned the TV because it had a few fingerprints on it and now it's so streaky but I made it so much worse. Sweaty workout for sure. I don't know if 
hope I can do this. Oh my goodness, so close. We <sighs> <sighs> got it on the couch. I did it. All by myself. But I am proud of myself that I got that out on my own. Whew. I've always done it with someone else, but you know, it was hard. It was hard, but it was good. Definitely out of breath. It's a bit sad, actually. Changed up the mantle, just moved a few things around, and then there used to be some Christmas decorations sitting there. Took those out. Ooh, I think I figured out why I don't like that. Look, they're both, both of them are heading, looking the same direction. That's what it is. I'm gonna move that. is done. This is my favorite place to style. This is just, you walk in from the back door. This is the first thing you see. I love that it just kind of makes a pop, it makes a statement, and that's why I'm so interested as to what I can find here. I don't think I'm going to put like a big print because I don't want it to compete with the mirror. But I also feel like maybe a series of prints might be too busy, but that is a challenge for another day. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the video here and I think try and get changed you know look decent for the day but I did want to show you what I ended up doing with my candle vessel so I cleaned it all out to make sure that every everything was done and I thought I would save it to put in candle lights or something or like if I got a candle that I didn't like the branding on I could stick it inside however we had a glass bowl filled with coins and things, you know, just little trinkets and stuff that really had no place. So instead I decided to put them in the vessel and then put it on our counter so that it actually just looks like a candle is sitting there instead of, you know, all the other stuff that was sitting inside of a glass bowl that you could clearly see and it just made everything look messy. I put the little candle vessel here in the corner it is, you know, we all have it. I feel like everyone has it in their kitchen of just this junk area. This is ours. I tried and make it look a little bit more appealing with my fruit bowl here. Um, and I don't know if anyone else struggles with outlets in their kitchen as well. It's so hard to hide them and this piece is so massive. So I tried to just style it a little bit. So I don't know, it just looks a little bit more appealing, but very difficult to do. I was watching uh, this other designer who actually just puts like faux plants in front of her outlets to hide them and I might need to go find some to hide those and just make the space look a little bit nicer. The day has disappeared. It's time to make some dinner. Thanks for joining me on my Sunday. If you like this, please like it, comment below, and please subscribe because all of that helps me know what you enjoy, what I'm sharing resonates with you. And if you have any questions about anything I shared, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time. <laughs>